Now this is the angel design from the Glass Effect Set 1 Angel Hanging. Now that's the A4 size but you can get them in various sizes. Now in this folder you've got all sorts of things in there. You've got toppers, you've got 3D sets, you've got backing papers and you've got everything in another folder, Mirror Image. So if you want to do uh, designs, Christmas designs or angel designs which need a front and a back to them then we've got that image. I'm going to show you again with that in a minute but this is the image that it's all based on. That is your main image and if you want you can turn that into 3D from the 3D set so if you do that so there's your main picture then you've got like this one you've cut out ready and then you've got the step by steps for making any of the sizes in 3D. Those will be lovely assembled and stuck on your Christmas tree. But we're going to do this for this project. I've chosen this design here, which is the large medium, and you get two per set. And I've printed out from the mirror image the opposites. There you can see one's flying one way and one's flying the other. I'm going to stick those two together like that. Now you've got two options here. You can either hold this against the window, have a little bit of tape, masking tape, and align them up in daytime, obviously, and then just put those together and then stick them together. Or if you've got a light box, which I have, you can do this. I've got my light box there. I'm putting the first one down there. You can see the image coming through there. I don't want to glare you, so I'm trying not to do it without the image. So it's easy to spot. And if you line this over the top, you can see exactly where you want to stick it. So I've got my brush here, and I've got a little bit of PVA glue. You only need a small amount, because you don't want it too, too wet, or it's a paper or wrinkle too much. So I'm just putting a little smearing of PVA glue on there. And I've got a flat-tipped brush here. And I'm just literally going to just, you can go over the lines there, there's no messing about, don't worry about keeping within the lines, just go over the lines. You have to go over the lines to kind of spread it, or stick it all together. And then stick those, put that there, make sure you put your brush into some water so it doesn't clog up. And then you can take your other image and lay this over the top like so. And just check, just don't press it down too much until you're happy with it. That's, I'm happy with that. They're lined up. And then from the middle, just push it out like that. You can use a brush if you want, but I just use my fingers because I can feel if there's any wrinkles or not. And then from this side again, just push that out and make sure you get any wrinkles. If you do get a wrinkle, don't worry about it. You've just got to separate those two papers again pull them back and then just pressing down here just smooth any wrinkles out again there was no wrinkles there but i was showing you what to do now what you do is you just put that to one side and let that dry now when it's dry i've already cut one side out of this you can see that's stuck together now both sides and all you've got to do is take a pair of scissors and cut round it you can either leave a little white gap all the way around or cut right up to the black and it'll just look like stained glass and I've got one here that I finished that's been cut out as you can see and all I've done is made a little hold here with a pin and I've just put some cotton in there so that just flies around like that now you could use these in the window they look like stained glass if you hang them on a christmas tree you'll get the fairy lights showing through them you can add glitter to them you can decorate them you can do anything you want with them